General Motors just had its best EV sales quarter in history by a pretty wide margin. But interestingly, General Motors just had an enormous comeback in sales in the United States this year. They captured 17% of the US market in 2025, their highest percentage in 10 years. The best performers were the Silverado EV, the Blazer EV, and the Sierra EV. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. If you haven't already subscribed to our newsletter, I'll put a link in the description below. You'll get updates on the videos on our channel. That's the only way you're going to actually get updated on them because YouTube isn't really showing them. General Motors' share of America's new car market has reached its highest point in a decade thanks to a boost in sales through the first nine months of this year. And contributing to GM's success was a huge surge in demand for those electric cars I just mentioned. Massive change. From January till September, GM has sold a total of 2.2 million vehicles in the United States alone, representing a 10% increase from the same period last year. As such, it currently has a 17.2% market share of the US new car market, the best since 2015. And you have to sit back and say, well, kudos to GM. They've done really well this year. This means they had their best market share for a quarter since 2017, but their best market share for the first nine months of the year since, well, 10 years. Electric cars have experienced the highest growth year to date. Their sales have increased by 105% to 145,000. And in Q3, they rose 107% to 66,501. The best-selling EV, or at least the one that had the most impressive numbers recently, was the Chevy Equinox EV, whose sales increased by a staggering 157% in September to 25,000, up from 9,700 last year. Year-to-date sales are even more impressive, having surged by 390% to 52,834. I'm just going to reiterate that, guys. The Equinox EV sales are up 390% versus last year to 53,000. That said, I mean, they didn't start selling the Equinox EV until May of 2024 last year, but still, massive increase. It's still a really good number. It's 53,000 of the Equinox. Demand for the Silverado EV also increased by 79%. And by 98% in September alone, with 4,000 or 3,940 to be exact, finding new homes. Sales of the Blazer EV increased by 1.1% in September. Not a lot. People aren't really running towards the Blazer. But sales are up 36.7% this year, which is okay. The Sierra, though, sales are up 772% to 3,367. Cadillac, they're also doing really well. Their sales are up 19.4% this year to 132,630. They increased by 25% in September to 46,525. Chevy sales are up 9% this year and 8.3% in September. Year-to-date, GMC sales have increased by 10%. One company, though, is not doing so well, Buick. The only brand that is hurting General Motors is Buick. Its sales have increased by 14% year-to-date to 156,000, but the company experienced a difficult couple of months, particularly September, when their sales declined by 14%. This was triggered by a 38% drop in sales of the Encore GX and a 35% fall for the Envision. And the truth is, if you look at if not, GM's global sales, they have had a bit, bit of a bounce back here in China this year, but the truth is they are still enormously down from the historic trends, averages, for example. And they've been declining down every almost every year for the last seven years. GM, of course, wrote off $4.5 billion worth of Chinese mess last year. And the truth is that they're being disrupted in China, even if there's a, a preliminary surge again in GM sales in, in China. It's a country where they are going to really probably, I believe, end up exiting within the next five to seven years. So 
General Motors needs the US car market badly. It needs the Brazilian car market. It needs the Mexican car market because it's not, doesn't sell that many cars in Europe, yeah? And it's now pretty much a North American car company, or at least will be soon. So it's good to see these sales from General Motors. We don't want every car legacy car company to go bankrupt and have to um, us all only buy Chinese cars. That's not really the solution. It's not really a solution at all. You know, we need some competition. So it's good to see General Motors doing this. Is General Motors actually profiting on the electric cars it's selling? No, I don't think so. Um, General Motors have never said that they are. And I think if they were, they would have told us that. Hopefully, if they can double their EV sales again next year, they can get to the point where they may, might be able to get to, you know, within a couple of years, be selling more than 500,000 a year. That's the break even point. A lot of experts say when you're selling 500,000 plus EVs, then you can break even, maybe even make a small profit. But I mean, look at profits for companies like Porsche. Yeah, but look at profits for Audi. Uh, profits for the premium makers who are now making more electric cars have gone down, crunched massively. And they're just struggling to compete when it comes to EVs because of, you know, obviously Chinese competition is just so tough. General Motors, great year this year. I'm hoping that this trend continues and that these EV sales continue. Of course, the EV tax credit going away, $7,500 discount is going to make things difficult. But... You never know. When there's a will, there's a way. Let's hope that things, let's hope that electric car sales for General Motors continue to rise. Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now, I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So, if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.